it's got you've got an education component to it because it's you know, we're at the student acres garden. Uh, you've got a production component because they are going to be looking at utilizing this the production that they get out of these hoop houses and and selling them through their CSA and their farmers market. And the third is is that it's a an opportunity for the public to come in and see and learn something as well. In Wyoming we have a problem growing some of the more sensitive uh, specialty crops and those are the tomatoes and the cucumbers and the peppers and, and uh, some of the lettuces early on in the spring and, and hoop houses have uh, been a real boon to Wyoming uh, small production in terms of being able to allow for a for much wider variety of crops that we can grow, especially in the, for the small producer. We are in Laramie, Wyoming today in order to build five hoop houses or high tunnels uh, to do a demonstration for different heat sink type uh, tactics. A hoop house or a high tunnel is a structure that helps you lengthen the growing season early and later than normal. It protects the crop from weird little frosts and freezes that we might have. You know, uh, we have some temperature variation throughout the, the state and different parts of the, of the season. If we can prevent those individual events from affecting our crops, we can probably double our growing season. My experience with discussing renewable energy in hoop houses, there wasn't very good data on saying, this is what you could do to further help uh, extend the growing season in a high tunnel. So Jeff Edwards and I thought that an applied project here at the Acres Student Farm would be a good way to get that information. This particular project is looking at ways that we can take a hoop house and extend the season even a little longer. And part of that is, is to see whether or not we can do a cost benefit on, on the particular additions that we're doing to each of the, each of the hoop houses. Um, one being insulating the ground. How much extra time can we get? How much extra crops can we get out of it? Uh, adding barrels, black barrels. Will that give us an extra week over and above the hoop house, which gives us an, a, a month on either side of the, the normal growing season? Um, you know, then we're a double cover. Okay, how much, how much extra does that give us? And, and uh, the lastly is, is how much do all of those do in order to, in extending our season? One of these uh, hoop houses is, you know, about 1100 bucks. We're insulating the, the ground around it, you're talking, you know, 100 bucks. Uh, the, the barrels, uh, those are probably 200 bucks. A double cover, there you've got another three to 350 bucks. This is information that through extension we can take and share around the state. We could say, okay, this is what worked, this is not what worked, or these are things that could require further study, which you know, we can take to folks at the University of Wyoming to do that further, more detailed research. Uh, but the idea is that there's a lot of interest in high tunnels. There's a way that we can do it better. We want to see if there's something more appropriate for our very cold climate. Also to get rid of some of the risk involved in agriculture in Wyoming. Can we prevent the impacts of that heavy hail or that uh, late freeze or early freeze that would devastate an otherwise uh, solid crop? Specialty crop grants are one of the grants that I'm managing and, and that's a block grant from the uh, USDA Specialty Crop Grant Program and that entails ways that we can increase marketing, production, education, uh, and value-added enhancement of uh, specialty crops within Wyoming. You know, this is, about, this is one of about 40 different projects that we're doing, everything from research uh, for newer specialty crops that might work in Wyoming, to community gardens, to uh, uh, orchards, to going around looking for heritage apple trees so that we can repropagate them. It's, it's you know, across the board, we're looking at trying to, to create as much um, opportunities to grow things locally as possible, especially within the Special Crop Grant Program.